1986, Chernobyl, Ukraine. During a safety test at the nuclear power plant's reactor number four, a series of operational errors and design flaws led to an explosion and fire that released large amounts of radioactive material into the atmosphere. 31 people died at the time and more than six lakh died due to radiation. This disaster did not only remain in Ukraine, but due to rain and winds, radiation spread throughout Europe. Chernobyl became the worst nuclear accident in history, drastically influencing energy policies and forever changing public perception of nuclear energy in the world. Due to this accident, a wave of protests against nuclear energy was unleashed in Germany. Concern about nuclear safety was growing rapidly, leading to massive demonstrations and the strengthening of the anti-nuclear movement in the country. Citizens, activists, and environmental organizations united to demand the closure of nuclear plants and a shift to safer and more sustainable energy sources. These protests significantly influenced German energy policy, contributing to the government's decision to gradually reduce dependence on nuclear energy and promote the use of renewable energy. However, Chernobyl was not the only accident that led to the elimination of nuclear plants in Germany. In 1957, a reactor fire in the United Kingdom resulted in the release of radioactive material, causing pollution and health problems in the surrounding area. That same year, in the Soviet Union, an explosion at a radioactive waste treatment plant resulted in extensive contamination and evacuations. And finally, in 1979, the accident on the Three Mile Island in the United States caused a partial meltdown of the reactor core. And although there were no direct deaths, it was enough to change nuclear safety policies and people's perceptions. All of these events, along with the Chernobyl disaster, specifically strengthened a political party in Germany called the German Green Party. After Chernobyl, the party began to organize mass demonstrations, pushing for stricter nuclear safety policies and promoting a transition to renewable and fossil fuels. In 1998, the socialist government and the Green Party agreed on a gradual phase-out of nuclear energy. Since then, nuclear power plants in Germany have been shut down continuously. In 2011, the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan heightened concerns in Germany and accelerated the debate on nuclear energy. In response, Chancellor Angela Merkel's government decided to implement a faster closure of nuclear power plants. Eight nuclear power plants were immediately shut down that same year. Finally, in April 2023, Germany completed its nuclear shutdown process with the closure of the last nuclear power plant in Emsland. This closure marked the end of nuclear power in Germany reaffirming the country's commitment to the transition to an energy system based more on renewable and sustainable sources. In general terms, an average nuclear power plant with a capacity of 1,000 megawatts can supply approximately 2.6 million people. If we consider an average global electricity consumption of 3,000 kilowatt hours per capita per year, that means that the closure of the 36 nuclear power plants in Germany stopped supplying a total of 105 million people. In addition, Considering that nuclear energy has a greater energy production capacity than other alternatives, the price of electricity has increased considerably. Inflation and the issuance of new euros are not only the cause of price increases, but also a shortage in the supply of cheap energy such as nuclear energy. This is a map of electricity prices per kilowatt hour in Europe. And as you can see, Germany is the country with the highest electricity price compared to the rest of the countries in Europe. Not only is inflation the cause of such prices, but clean energy policies and the shortage of nuclear energy production are the cause of all this. Germany will become totally dependent on Russian energy if it does not immediately change course. Donald Trump said it in 2018. Germany is making a big mistake in relying on Russian energy imports, especially natural gas. Until early 2022, Russia was Germany's main gas supplier covering about 55% of its natural gas imports. This dependence was due to long-term agreements and in infrastructure, such as the Nord Stream pipelines, which transported natural gas directly from Russia to Germany. However, the war in Ukraine in 2022 caused an energy crisis, both in Germany and across Europe. Germany quickly began to reduce its dependence on Russian gas, seeking to diversify its energy sources and increase its imports of liquefied natural gas from other suppliers. The conflict and related sanctions led to a collapse in Russian gas imports and an accelerated effort by Germany to secure its long-term energy supply. All of this has caused energy prices in Germany to continue to rise like never before. If we were to compare the origin of energy between Germany and a country like France, where energy is relatively cheaper and with more successful energy policies than Germany, 
it would look like this. Germany obviously has 0% nuclear energy origin, while France has 70%. About 30% of energy in Germany comes from wind turbines, 10% from solar panels, 25% from natural gas, and 18% from coal. Nuclear energy production offers several significant benefits. First, nuclear power produces very few greenhouse gas emissions, such as carbon dioxide, compared to fossil fuel-based energy sources such as coal and natural gas. This contributes to the fight against climate change and to reducing the carbon footprint. In addition, nuclear power is highly efficient in terms of energy density. A small amount of nuclear material can generate a large amount of electricity, allowing nuclear plants to produce large volumes of energy with a relatively small amount of fuel. This high energy density means that less space is needed to generate large amounts of electricity compared to other energy sources. Nuclear plants are also known for their reliability and stability. They can operate continuously for long periods, typically between 18 and 24 months, before needing to be refueled. This ability to operate without interruptions offers a constant and stable source of electricity, in contrast to some renewable energies that can depend on variable weather conditions. Another important benefit of nuclear power is the reduction of dependence on fossil fuels by using uranium or plutonium as fuel. Nuclear energy helps diversify energy sources and reduce dependence on finite and volatile price resources. This also contributes to improving energy security. Nuclear power plants take up less space compared to renewable energy facilities such as solar or wind, which require large areas of land. This efficiency in the use of space allows for significant energy generation in relatively small areas. In addition, the nuclear industry drives technological research and development, which can lead to advances in science and engineering. It also creates jobs and contributes to economic development in the regions where nuclear plants are located. Finally, unlike renewables that rely on climatic factors, such as the sun or wind, nuclear power can operate continuously without depending on weather conditions provide a stable and reliable source of energy. Together, these benefits make nuclear power an attractive option for a low-carbon, reliable, and efficient energy source. Obviously, we will not gloss over the major problem of nuclear waste. This waste, generated from fission in nuclear plants, presents one of the biggest challenges in the energy industry. Every time nuclear fuel is used, radioactive waste is produced that remains dangerous for thousands of years. Waste is divided into several categories based on its level of radioactivity. High-level waste, such as spent nuclear fuel, is the most problematic due to its high radioactivity and the heat it generates. This waste requires careful and safe handling to avoid risks to health and the environment. Initially, spent fuel is kept in cooling pools inside nuclear plants. These pools filled with water allow the radioactive material to cool and block radiation, while reducing its danger over time. This is a temporary measure before the waste is moved to more permanent storage. Once the material is cooled sufficiently, it is placed in dry containers. These containers, constructed of steel and concrete, are designed to seal out radiation and offer long-term protection. For longer-term storage, deep geological repositories are used. This method involves burying the waste in stable rock formations hundreds of meters underground. The idea is to keep the waste isolated from the surface and groundwater for thousands of years. However, this approach faces significant challenges, such as ensuring that geological formations remain stable and do not allow leakage. Managing this waste is a costly and complex task. Storage facilities and their maintenance require large investments. In addition, there is persistent public concern about the risks associated with storing radioactive waste and the potential environmental and health consequences. Ultimately, while nuclear energy offers an efficient and low emission source, managing radioactive waste poses significant challenges. As technology advances, finding effective solutions for storing and managing this waste remains crucial to ensuring long-term safety and minimizing risks to future generations. In conclusion, the Chernobyl accident marked a turning point in the perception of nuclear energy, revealing its risks and problems, such as radioactive waste management and high costs. This event, along with subsequent incidents, led many countries, including Germany, to rethink their reliance on nuclear power. Germany has chosen to close its nuclear plants and turn to renewable energy, especially wind power as an alternative. Wind power, unlike nuclear power, produces no carbon dioxide emissions during operation and has a much lower environmental impact. Although it faces challenges such as intermittency, its costs have decreased and the technology continues to improve.